what fuel feels like to a narcissist. Fuel is the emotional output of another individual towards a narcissist. It is our lifeblood. Some people call it narcissistic supply. I don't like that term. It's clumsy, inaccurate, and to be frank, takes far too long to type. Utilizing the word supply, she was good supply. No, don't use it. Fuel is far more accurate, far more effective, and conveys precisely what it is to us. If you want to understand what fuel is, you can do no better than read my book, Fuel, which you will find on Amazon. That explains to you what fuel is, how it operates. But here, I'm going to explain to you what fuel feels like to a narcissist. When I look at you and see the delight cross your face as you spot me across the room, I feel the flame of attention ignite inside me as the first sensation of power booms into life. I have learned that your smile, the widening of your eyes, and your hurrying towards me is indicative of delight and happiness on your part. I feed from this, allowing my eyes to drink in the fuel that emanates from your expressions. When I gaze at you beneath me, writhing against me, mouth open and flush of sensual desire spreading across your chest, the flames inside me burn fiercer as I watch with such attentiveness the flaring of your orgasm. I study your reaction to our coupling, noting the detail of the way that you twist your head the slight flare of your nostrils, the flailing limbs. I watch and I absorb, committing your reaction to my memory as I avail myself of the fuel that you are providing to me. When I stand and stare at you, that baleful glare piercing you from my darkened ink-like eyes, I am savouring your trembling stance, the fear that you are trying to hide cannot be hidden as you clutch at the arm of the chair to steady yourself. I notice this. I see your eyes welling with tears. I stand and I stare, my stare, generating your fearfulness and at the same time absorbing the fuel that flows from your frightened state. When I hear you call my name, that upwards lilt in your voice, the light inflection which denotes that you are pleased to see me, I feel the fuel embracing, creating the fire inside of me, allowing the flames to burn a little brighter and stoking the engine that provides me with my sensation of power. I do not feel delight, I do not feel joy, I replicate the way that that looks in order to make you think that I feel them. But as I hear your fuel-laden words, as they break upon my ears, all that I feel is power. Power that I cause you to feel so elated when you call out to me from another room or speak down the telephone to me on repeated occasions throughout the day. When I hear your shouted insults, the waves of fuel wash against my ears, emotion-laden labels which do not perturb me unless I choose to feign that I do in order to provoke you further. I hear the sound of birdsong, I hear the sounds of a cheering crowd, and I hear the first strains of a piece of music that appeals to me, yet none of those things give me fuel. No because I did not cause them to happen. But where I cause you to shout, to cry, to laugh, to scream, to moan and sigh because of me, those words give me power. 
Your words of praise move through me, the gracing of power far more than the strings of a famous orchestra. Your words of scorn generate a far greater reaction within me, powering me in the roar of a crowd as my team scores the winning goal. When I taste, I taste so much more than the food in my mouth or the drink that I have just taken a swig of. You bought me that drink and imbued within that gesture, within that mug of coffee or glass of beer. I can taste your interest, your appreciation and your affection. You did it for me. I matter. You are fueling me. Your empathic print is on all that you say and do. Your actions and words and emotions are embodied in the cake that you baked for me. I tell you that the slice you have cooked for me is delicious, and of course it is. You are an excellent baker, but what I really taste, what I really crave, is the care and attention that you dedicated to me as you made that cake for me. Every meal you place before me may taste of different ingredients, but the one that tastes the finest to me, the one that gives me the power, the one that causes the surge within me, that enables me to conquer worlds and stride across this world like a colossus, are the emotions that you have imbued it with. Whether it is a lovingly prepared three-course dinner or a slammed-down plate of spaghetti bolognese, the emotion you imbue into those meals always tastes better than the meals themselves. When I smell that delightful fragrance, I feel once more the power rising inside of me as I latch onto the fuel that you provide to me. Your action in putting on that scent to please me, because I told you that it is my favourite, goes far beyond the pleasant smell of jasmine or sandalwood. The fragrance tells me how you want me to be pleased by your wearing it, how you wish to smell attractive for me, and thus I am empowered by your action as my nose senses the fragrance. The smell of freshly laundered clothing or bedding, that clean scent is imbued with you caring for me, attending to my washing and the housework, and once again the smell of this act of kindness, of affection, and of caring provides me with the fuel that I need. Even when I tell you that I no longer like a certain perfume you wear, in order to provoke a reaction from you, when you wear it as an act of defiance, you provide me with yet more fuel from this act, which is encapsulated in the scent. When you stand fuming, cigarette in hand, and the smell of the smoke contains your anger, your irritation, and it smells as sweet to me as a blossoming rose might to you. When I hold your hand and I feel your pleasure in me taking your hand in mine, the fuel flows once again. I overcome the distaste of the intimacy of the holding of hands because of the fuel. As I feel your skin beneath my fingers, I know that the emotions that erupt as I do so fuel me further from my lips against your lips through to moving inside of you. I feel as anyone would, I have nerve endings just like you, but I feel so much more deep within because I feel your emotion through my touch and your touch upon me. The emptiness that exists acts with the power of a huge black hole which sucks all of the emotion, all of the fuel that you exude into me. It fills the chasm, getting rid of the restlessness, the irritation, the sense of impending doom. Such is the level of fuel that I receive. Those sensations are distant memories. When I feel your touch upon me, the fuel flows once again, and you allow the simmering flames to rise higher because of the light application of your fingers on the nape of my neck. The pressure of your arms about me as you hug me tightly signifies the deep-seated love and affection which you have for me. It powers through me, invigorating and awakening, providing me with the power that I need to keep on doing that which I must do, that it provides me with the power to fuel the construct. The sting of your hand as it slaps my face, punishment for another of my transgressions as I sought out the touch of another outside our relationship. 
will hurt my face momentarily. I am, after all, human in the physical sense at least. The sting that you have left, however, is readily dwarfed by the surge of power I feel inside me at your emotion-filled violence towards me. Touch me, stroke me, hold me, strike me, push me and pull me. It all amounts to a connection where I have attached you to me and sends the fuel flowing from you to me. When I no longer tolerate the affectionate intimate touches, I crave instead for the terrified grab of my arm or the defensive shove to keep me away from you. I may no longer want you to hold my hand, kiss me, or place a delicate hand upon my brow. Instead, I will welcome the physical manifestation of your anger, your frustration, your hatred, and your fear. Everything that you say and do will be absorbed through my senses. What I see in you, what I hear you say, what I taste, what I smell, and what I feel from your touch, they all provide conduits for me to gather fuel. I am a vast machine which is sucking the emotion from you, from all of my five senses, in order to seek to fill this immense emptiness inside me. You make my senses come alive, albeit for one purpose, and this happens in a way that causes the sensations that you feel from the use of your senses to pale by comparison. Fuel feels like power to me. Fuel rises like flames, a rushing sensation, a warmth. In some narcissists, where their fuel provision is sporadic, when fuel levels drop, the unease, the doom, the sense of restlessness, the sense of a foreboding, although they do not know what it is, manifests. They feel like the walls are come tumbling in, that there is something terrible about to happen. Their paranoia increases, and yet, when the flames of fuel start to fl flow within them, as the emptiness fills, it calms, it soothes, it reassures, and then as it rises and rises and rises, the narcissist feels powerful, empowered, indestructible, invincible, an all-conquering machine, the destroyer of worlds, the maker of worlds, a colossus. Fuel feels like power to us. Power to fill up the emptiness. Power to quash the unease, the uncertainty, the nervousness in those narcissists which are more often afflicted by that as a consequence of their poor fuel provision. The more evolved of us, the higher echelon, the upper mid-range, the greater and I, the ultra, our fuel matrices are vast. Great pipelines of fuel pumping into us so that we are energetic, enthused, boundless, forging ever further forwards, driven by the collection of this fuel which powers our construct, keeps the creature locked within and enables us to achieve. Fuel feels like power to us. Fuel is our lifeblood. <laughs>